Welcome to this biostatistics tutorial. Today we're going to see how we can group quantitative data into groups or classes. For example, if we have taken the ages of different patients within our ward and we want to group their ages into age groups or classes in the form of a frequency distribution table for us to analyze this data properly. We can simply do that using Excel. And to start, you first of all need to select the column, the column of your variable age. And then you insert a pivot table for this particular variable. Now, after this, drag the variable age into the rows place. And then once again, you drag it into the values place. Now we have our different ages with the different age counts of frequencies. Okay, before we proceed, these are our ages and these are our age counts of frequencies. Uh, let's also get rid of the blank cell. So we get down uh, then remove the blank very good now to group these ages into classes or age groups for that matter first of all we have to think about or we, sh we should first of all know the number of classes that we're gonna have so the number of classes and secondly we should also know the what we call it the length of each class or the what we call the width of each class or the amplitude of each class all right so how do we know the number of classes to know the number of classes to raise the power k is usually less than or equal to the total frequency which is 37 where sorry to risk i didn't get the formula correct to risk the power k is is usually less than or equal to 37 where 37 is our total frequency and then K is the number of classes that we want to have. So we simply need to solve this equation to get our K. And a quick way of doing that using Excel is to just come in. You can write in a cell 2 raised to the power. 2 raised to the power. We can select any cell and that will be 0. 2 raised to the power 0. Sorry. Every formula starts with equal to, so right? Equal to 2 raised to the power. Then we select any cell. For instance, we hit enter. It gives us 1. 2 raised to the power 0 is 1. So we keep putting values till we get, I mean, a result closer to either less than or equal to 37. So we could try maybe 3 and see what it gives. It gives us 8, and that's far less than 37. We could put 4 and that gives us 16, which is also far less than 37. Let's try with 5. That gives us, that's pretty dope. It gives us 32 and that's almost 37. Oh, if we should put 6, it will be far, far greater. Let's try that and see. So I think our number of classes, which is K, has to be 5. So our number of classes here is going to be 5. We're going to have 5 classes. And now, how do we get the amplitude or the class width? To get the amplitude of each class, we're gonna take the we're gonna find the range of our values and divide it by the number of classes. And the range of when when I talk about the range of our values is simply the highest age 
minus the least age that gives us the range of the ages then we divide it by the number of classes that we want to have and that's going to give us the number of i mean the amplitude of each class so to do that quickly we can just write equal to let me open parenthesis 90 which is the highest number or the highest h minus the least h which is 10 brackets close divided by the number of classes so this uh, 90 minus 10 is the range of our ages and then we divide it by the number of classes which is what five so divided by five to give us the amplitude of each class and that gives us 16 so we're gonna have five classes and the amplitude of each class is gonna be 16 all right we could clean i mean clear of these calculations to make our worksheet nice all right so now having done this to group our ages into classes we right click on any part of the inserted pivot table and we select group and when you hit group by default excel is going to start the grouping of your ages from the least age which is 10 to the highest age which is 90 and the amplitude of each class is going to be 10. however we've realized that i mean considering our total frequency or the volume of our text our data sorry our number of classes is going to be five and to get the five classes we need to have i mean the amplitude of each class has to be 16. when we talk of amplitude of each class the differences between the upper class boundary and the lower class boundary of each class has to be 16. so to get five classes with an amplitude of 16 for each class we need to simply replace this default i mean amplitude by 16. then we hit ok and there it is we have five classes let's get rid of the blank cell all right we have five classes and each class has an amplitude of 16. all right so now i think that's perfect And if you want us to maybe, I mean, represent our data on a histogram or something, then we could just quickly do that. You select the table and you click on insert. And you could select any of the charts we want. And there it is. So thank you so much for watching and please remember to subscribe to my channel. Remember to also like the video and comment and share with friends who may need to i mean the same help see you in the next video bye